Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be painting in my backyard. Um, I was going to do some raspberry bushes. I'll enter a photo up here in the corner. I think that corner. No, this corner. I always get them mixed up. Anyway, one of the corners up above my head. And you can see what I was going to do. And I still might do that, but not on camera. Um, I'll show you the finished product. But um, today I'm going to just work in my backyard. The sun is starting to get a little bit lower in the sky. And the light is shining so perfectly. And I was going to show you, hang on, let me flip considering the doing this wetland area back here. That's all water. And it looks like tree trunks, but the tree line is actually up here. And all that below it is water. And it's very, very difficult to pull off because... The trees are so dense um, and I could decrease the trees some and do it that way but um, I'm not going to take that on today I don't know how much time I'll have but then I looked over here shoot I hope I wasn't covering the microphone I looked over here and saw how pretty this tree just looked all lit up it was like like a spotlight just on those couple of trees and there's a little light on this one in front but I wanted to try and get catch some of that light in the blue sky if I can um, I'm gonna have to kind of wide angle that to get everything in but um, I may do it vertically so I can catch more of it but um, yeah I think I'm on the video that I had just posted today which I had done about I don't know Almost, it's been almost a week now. Um, I was showing you this setup that I had with my water vial, um, or my pill vial. This is a five inch, this is the tallest um, medication vial that they make. Um, there is a shorter one that's about a three and a half inch, I think. Um, but what I did was I took a silver, or a silver, I took a steel washer, sanded the back a little bit to, t to rough it up, and then I put Gorilla Glue on the bottom of the washer and glued it on. You know how it spreads around. Um, you really got to goop it up good. And then I just kept cleaning this portion up and pinching it down so that it wouldn't rise up above the level of the washer itself. Um, but somebody said, oh, I'm going to get some of those clips and glue a magnet to it. I bought these clips like this. They're actually kind of pinned in here into this metal thing, and you buy them this way. That's how they're bought. This is a small one. I expected the clips themselves to be much bigger than they are, although it works just fine for what I'm using it for, for that water. I do get a little bit of a bounce. Um from this but it's not bad I think the bounce is more from the washer um, you know or the magnet not sitting still in there there's a little wobble in the magnet but it's okay because it's not going anywhere even when I push on it it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere so it just bounces back in place and it works out great for me you can put water in these to travel with but if they sit on their side for too long they do start to leak I've had that happen to me before so um, I usually just fill a water bottle to take with me on location and then with my brushes what I've been doing and what I've been showing um, you guys I sh actually I did it in another video that I never posted because I thought it was too similar to the one I just posted today it was another one of the river that I did in my big book here um, but it was a different location on the river I was using these clips to put my brushes on and if you put them on an angle like that they stay well they were staying the other day I don't know why they're not now maybe I did it that's how I did it like that and they stay just fine um, if I put them in like that they don't they don't go anywhere so you can prop them up or you can prop them up on the edge like that and that works just fine too I got these chip clips on Amazon an 18 pack also right now is 
getting in my lightest lights. I want to remember where my, oops, the love of plein air, you get debris and bugs everywhere. Um, <laughs> I want to make sure I get my lightest lights down. Now there's a little bit of yellow light coming and I'm just going to take this and add some of that yellow light in. I don't want it this yellow, so I'm going to take some of that back off again. But just want that light to be shining so that you know that there's light there. Um, if you get your lightest lights in early on, then as the light changes, it doesn't matter. Excuse me, I got a brush in my mouth here. Um, it won't matter what's going on because, or what's changing because you've already got it down. The other way to do it and the way I used to do it was that I would not worry so much about my light until later and then use the light that I had. You can go that route, but there's something that's capturing your eye while you're working. And if that's the case, you're gonna wanna, is this is the one that I wanted to capture here. Yeah, this is the one. Um, you're gonna wanna um, get it down. I mean, it, if it's capturing your eye, that means there's something going on with it that's bringing your eye in. I'm using a, just a tinch of yellow on my brush and I'm trying to pull in that gray too. Gotta work quick with gray. This is neutral tint but it's staining and it or quickly dries excuse me I can't talk and do something at the same time it quickly dries and then you've got a you've got a line there here I did not want that to happen so we'll just have to work with what we got there hopefully I can get rid of some of that Okay, and I'd like to bring a little more of that yellow in on this again. Okay, now the rest of these trees are fairly dark. Uh, this one has captured some light in here, so I'm going to get that one done. I want to use some of my Hematite Genuine because it's granulating and I really love that paint. And I can work with it a little bit longer than I can with neutral tint, at least outside in the wind. I think this is hematite genuine, pretty sure. Yeah, it's granny lighting. Oh, I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes. I need my bug spray on. I'm going to have to stop this after this tree. I want to get a little bit of that yellow. Actually, I should use some gold. It'd probably be better. Ugh, dead skeeter in my quinacridone gold. <laughs> it's always great. There we go. Now, I'm just going to draw that out again by just using some water. And I want the gray to mix in with it. Payne's Gray with Quinacridone Gold is going to make it a sort of a greenish color. So if you do that, be careful. This one, I'm really disappointed with what happened here. And maybe I can use some of my sponge. Like I was telling you guys, the Magic Eraser can work at erasing. So I'm going to try and see. But this is a staining color, so I'm really doubtful I'm going to get much off of it. It's working a little bit. I just have to be very careful that I don't um, get my paper messed up because this is not cotton paper. Pentallic paper was thought to be cotton because it was advertised that way mistakenly on Amazon for a while. But um, it is not. Cotton paper does not hold or 
cellulose paper does not hold up as well. I want to get this line gone too, if I can. There, now I can use my yellow or my gold. Pull this in here, rinse it. I'm gonna dry it and I'm just gonna work that gray right in there. There, that should work a little bit better now. And I'm not worried about the bottom because there's gonna be plants there. So, I don't know what happened over there, but we'll dry it off. That magic eraser did work well. I learned that from the book that I showed you at back at Christmas time that I got, that coffee table book from by John Salmonen of his paintings. Oh, wonderful book. Can learn so much about watercolor from that man. Okay, I've got to pause this and put on bug spray and I will be back. The nice thing about using neutral tint is that when you have things like this, like a background that you want to go over, I can go right over it and it's not lifting. So those background trees and these branches, I do get a little lifting here. I don't think it was dry enough because um, I just did that a few minutes ago. But um, for the most part, I can lay right over it and then I can touch up any areas that I have to but I don't have to be super careful. Now when I changed over to this hematite genuine it moves around a little bit easier so I'm going to have to be a little more careful around it. But I just wanted to get this light green background down um, so that I can start putting the undergrowth in. And what I'm doing is I'm using, I think this is rich green gold, but I'm not sure that's rich green gold. Yeah, it must be rich green gold. It's got a greenish hue to it. And then I'm just taking a tad drop of Prussian, or not Prussian, phthalo blue to um, mix in with it to get that kind of lime color. It's a little bit lighter than my than my um, sap. Oh, there goes my dryer. Clothes are dry. <laughs> um, that way when I use my sap green I'll have a different hue and I can mix some of those greens like you saw me post a photo of some greens that I had mixed on my own that was using just blues and yellows. And I may just use some of those colors today so I get truer greens. Just putting this in a little bit darker in places. And if it's rough or dry brushed, that, that just adds to it. Um, where's that tree that was bent over? There it is, right in front of me. Jeez, I'm looking the wrong direction. Just want to see where the green is here. Let me switch over to brown. I'm just going to use a um, bit of my 
Piemonite or Piemonite Genuine with a little bit of my uh, burnt sienna to put in some of this leafy area here. I want to get a general laying of that down and then I'll go back and add to that. I just found out today that a friend of ours died. We got a voicemail that he died. He lives up here where our cottage is. Really sad. He's a very, very heavy man. So nice. And he um, just didn't take care of himself very well. And boy, oh boy, it killed him. I'm not sure what happened yet. i got to find out. He was diabetic, but he also had heart problems. Bad heart problems. So... This is very dark. This tree here. There. Just dry brushed a little bit of what was left on my brush to get that. And now I need to do it with this too. I'm gonna go down the back. Okay, I think that gave the illusion of light. Now I need to add my leafy undergrowth in.
decided that I'm going to put a little bit of gouache on my, whoops, darn it, I lost the cap. Ugh. Darn, and these mosquitoes are biting through my pant legs and I didn't realize that. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of gouache. I want to brighten up some of these leaves that would look like the light is hitting them. And I want them to cross over some of the areas of um, tree trunks. So I'm just going to put some of this light green on. Might not be light enough because remember gouache dries darker. I do have white gouache I can use. Now it looks fine there. But since this is receiving light, these leaves appear too dark to me. And they're not opaque enough. So I'm just going to put this on here. And that way it'll give the illusion of light a little more. You see what I'm saying? Because if there's light striking this tree, the leaves should be lighter also. If they are in the lightened area, which these are. So I'm just going to lighten those. And then a couple that would be coming across here too. Anything <coughs> that would have been hitting that. The light has changed considerably out there. But I'm going to go follow this path of light. It's coming this way so here and there I want some of these leaves to have light on them just here and there not I don't want to overdo it it's really easy for me to do I'm gonna put some over here too since the light is passing through and that tree is further back chances are it would have gotten some light on it I know that the pine tree did have some light on it and I was having trouble because I had already gone too dark so what I'm going to try to do is dry brush some of this on here that might work hmm and then the same thing with down on the ground. There's so many ferns going through here, and I didn't put all the ferns on, but this one would have looked lighter, but not that light. So let me get a little darker green. I do have some gouache left over on my palette from another painting. This green is not the right green, but hopefully I can change it well enough. Yeah, I gotta mix it together. Let me put a little brown in with it to change that green there. Then when I go over it with the lighter stuff, it'll look a little bit better. Um, that had my ferns on it, and they're so easy to do with pastel. Get out there with those sketchbooks, <clears throat> sketch a little bit, paint a little bit, have some fun, make some mistakes, and just be courageous. No fear of failure. Failure is learning. So be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.